Hi everyone, it's Linnea here and I am excited to be taking part in the Miss Ink Stamps and Ink on 3 collaboration Instagram hop. So this is a hop that's taking place over on Instagram, so I'll be sure to link my Instagram accounts first in the video description below so that you can head over to there. Both companies are generously giving away a gift card to their store, so you'll definitely want to hop along with us over on Instagram. I am excited about this hop because I am on the design teams for both of these amazing companies. So I love working with their products and I'm excited to be able to mix and match them together today. I'm starting here with the Miss Ink Stamps Bear Hugs stamp set. This is one of their new ones from their latest release. And I'm going to ink this up on the bottom of a piece of Nina heavyweight cardstock using the Ink on 3 Blackout Hybrid Detail Ink. I originally thought this would be a one layer card, but in the end, that didn't work out. That's just not my style, so I had to add some additional little critters on top of this card. But I had this idea of having this bear cave at the bottom and then blending a night sky on top. So I grabbed some Ink on 3 Atelier inks, and I started there with Trinity Teal, then I came in with Peacock Blue. Now I'm coming in here with My Jam Purple, which I recently re-inked, so that's why that one is so juicy. I'm going to clean off my workstation, and then come in at the top with just a little bit of that Blackout Hybrid Detail ink just to kind of darken up that top portion of my night sky. Now this stencil is from Miss Ink Stamps. This is the Sparkle Stencil. This is one of my most used stencils from Miss Ink Stamps. It's a staple, great for adding some sparkle, great for birthday cards for a confetti look too. But I'm going to add this over my night sky background and blend on some Shark Tooth White Atelier ink. Now this shark tooth white is kind of going to fade and blend in with the trinity teal at the bottom. So it's going to show up more at the top, but I like that faded look of the stars. I think it's really fun. Now I'm going to do some simple Copic coloring for my bear cave. I'm using a variety of cool gray, neutral gray, and warm gray markers for my entire scene. I went with neutral gray for the stones here for the bear cave, and I'm just kind of adding my N2 marker where I want there to be some shadows. So anywhere where the rocks look like they're overlapping as well as I kind of chose to have the shadow on the right hand side of my rocks. Then I'm going to come in with N0 and just blend that out a little bit but I'm leaving white, the white of the paper in the rocks so that it looks like they just have a little bit of shadow. For the ground, I'm using cool gray markers, and here I started light. I started with C2, and it was too light, so I came in with my C3 and darkened that up a little bit, and I think I might have even come back in with a C4 marker and really darkened up that ground. I wanted this to look like a snowy, wintry scene, so I just went with the cool grays here, but I think it would be really fun to go with browns or even greens. This image is really versatile, and you could have this work for any season. Now for my tree, I'm using BG78 and G29. Then I did end up off camera stamping and coloring the moon, the fire, and the little sleeping bear. In my finished card, I'm not going to be using the little campfire there, but I did like having that moon and that additional little bear image. I want to stamp a sentiment right onto my card. So I lined up that sentiment from the Miss Ink Stamps Bear Hugs stamp set lined that up and stamped that with blackout hyper detail ink. Now I'm just going to use my foam squares. I popped up that little moon up in the top left of my card and I'm going to pop up my little sleeping bear on the log using some foam squares as well and put him down in the bottom right hand corner of my card and that is going to finish my project. I hope you've enjoyed watching this easy way to create a night blended sky, mixing and matching some Miss Ink stamps stamp sets along with Ink on 3 Atelier inks. Remember that this project is part of an Instagram hop, so I'll leave that link in my video description below, as well as links to all of the products that I've used on today's card. Here's a quick peek at my finished card. I love the way those stars shine against that background, and I just love that cute little bear sleeping outside of his little cave there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.